ये इन आई बटन एंड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो विल गेट अ कंप्लीट प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस वेलकम टू वीडियो नंबर सेवन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन वेर वी आर गोन टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन ऑन दिस टॉपिक इफ यू गो टू द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ दिस दैट इज न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन यू विल गेट एट वीडियोज ऑन दिस टॉपिक एंड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी आर सॉल्विंग इन दिस टॉपिक आर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द सेवन प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन से इज द वेलासिटी वी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल एट अ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट ऑन इट्स पाथ इज गिवन बाय दिस इज डिस्टेंस विच इज गिवन इन फीट दिस इज वेलासिटी विच इज गिवन इन फिट पर सेकेंड्स ओके डिस्टेंस जीरो फिट टेन फिट ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी एंड सिक्सटी फिट करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ वेलासिटी इज गिवन हियर दैट इज फोर्टी सेवन एट एस इक्वल्स टू टेन वेलासिटी इज फिफ्टी एट एट एस इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी velocity 64 and so on okay what we need to find is estimate the time taken to travel 60 feet we need to find the time taken to travel 60 feet by using simpson's one third rule here we need to find the time taken to travel 60 feet by using this particular rule that is simpson's one third rule and then after finding this time taken by this rule we need to compare the result with the simpson's 3 upon 8 rule Okay, so here we need to find the time taken to travel 60 feet by using two rules. That is Simpson's one third rule and Simpson's three by eight rule. We need to use both the rules. Okay, so let us start the problem. Distance is given in feet, velocity is given in seconds, feet feet per seconds. So time taken will be in seconds. Now here you can see first we will find the width. That is small h. You, here you can see the distance. Here the interval size is given as ten. Okay, because here you can see zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. The interval size is ten. But we have to show by using formula that is b minus a upon n. What is b? That is upper limit sixty. What is a? That is lower limit. That is zero upon what is n? That is number of steps. how to find the value of n that is number of steps first we will count the number of elements present in the problem 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here the number of elements in the problem are 7 7 minus 1 we all we will always subtract with 1 the number of elements with 1 that is number of elements minus 1 will give me number of steps that is n here number of elements is 7 7 minus 1 will be n that is 6 So sixty upon six will give me ten. So here h equals to ten. Now after this, we need to find the time. Since we know that velocity is given as d s upon d t. Now this implies d t equals to d s upon small v. We are taking this d t to the left hand side and this velocity to the right hand side. Now integrating. Both sides, okay. This is going to give you. This will become time that is t, and this is equals to one upon v d s with this integration sign. Okay, so this is going to be my y, and this is going to be x. Okay, this is one upon y. One upon v is y, and what is d s? That is x, or you can say d x. If you see in the problem. This distance is in okay. This distance is x. This is velocity, but we want one upon v. Okay, so to find y, that is one upon v, that is one upon forty-seven. This is the value of y naught. Similarly, we will get one upon fifty-eight. This is the value of y one. Here you will get one upon sixty-four. This is the value of y two. Again, one upon sixty-five. That is Y three one upon sixty one. That is the value of y four. Here you will get one upon fifty two. The value of y five one upon thirty eight. This is the value of y six. Now we can draw a line here. So we have drawn a line here. This is x. This is y. Okay, that is one upon v. Y not y one y two y three y four y five y six. All the values are written here. So After this, we will use Simpson's one-third rule to find the time. 
so writing here by simpsons one third rule to find the time that is t equals to what is t that is 1 upon v that is velocity d s we need to know the limit should be here you can see yes what is s that is d s the limit should be from 0 to 60 but because here in the problem we need to find the time taken to travel 60 feet we, we need to find the time taken no, we need to find the time taken to travel the 60 feet distance so we will start from 0 till 60 so here the limit goes from 0 to 60 okay now this is equals to we need to formula we need to remember the formula that is h upon 3 here the value should be y0 plus y6 that is extreme values y0 plus y6 plus 4 into we will take the odd subscripts of y that is y1 y3 y5 y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus 2 into remaining values of y that is even values of even subscripts of y that is y2 y4 why we are not taking y6 because we have already considered y6 here so here it is going to be y2 plus y4 now close this bracket on solving simply put the value of h that is how much 10 values of y0 to y6 we can take the values from this okay on putting this value you will get time that is 1.0635 the unit is seconds okay so by simpson's one third rule you will get t that is time equals to 1.0635 seconds now we will apply simpson's 3 by 8 rule by simpson's 3 by 8 rule again we are finding time that is t equals to integration 1 upon v ds limit goes from 0 to 60 now this equals to you need to uh, remember the formula that is 3 h upon 8 okay now open this bracket the value should be y0 plus y6 that is extreme values of y plus 3 into here we need here we will consider uh, we are not considering the multiple of 3 okay subscripts of y not multiple of 3 so here y1 plus y2 we are not considering multiple of 3 so we will not write y3 here y4 plus y5 because y6 is here plus 2 into here we need to write the values of y which is in which the subscript is in the multiple of 3 that is y3 y6 y9 as it and so on but since we have used y6 here so we are going to write y3 now closing this bracket okay now here we, we will put the values of h y0 y6 okay on putting the values you will get t equals to how much that is 1.0641 seconds okay so here from simpson's one third rule we got t equals to 1.0635 seconds and by using simpson's 3 by 8 rule you will get t equals to 1.0641 seconds so thank you thank you so much for watching this video thank you